Hey guys, how's it going? Um, let's see, it's been a while, at least it feels like it's been a while, since I've made a video. Um, I mean, I've done a couple of reviews, but uh, I feel like it's been a while since I showed you what I got uh, in the mail otherwise. And honestly, I haven't gotten much in the mail recently. So, um, instead of just waiting for my next purchase, which might not be for a while because I'm trying to save more money, I figured I would do um, a collection overview which is something that uh, a few people have asked me about, um, but uh, I just, you know, haven't gotten around to it. I haven't figured out a way to do it. But uh, before I get to the actual full Blu-ray collection, I figured I would do my other categories first. And, um, well, I figured I would start with my steelbooks. So this first one's kind of like a test run to see how this goes. Um, I don't have a whole lot of steelbooks. I think I have under 10. Um, but uh, I figured I would just kind of go through this first to see how this goes. I don't know if I'm going to do... Well, whatever. How about I just get through this first one first and we'll, we'll do it. Okay, so here's here is my uh, Steelbook collection thus far. Um, I know that um, there are a few uh, Steelbooks coming out at the end of the month that I was planning on getting, but um, I actually uh, decided not to get them because I'm trying to save money and uh, I didn't need them. I actually uh, uh, I wound up purchasing the uh, regular versions of them. Anyway, how about I get to the damn steelbooks? So, the first one, um, actually, this is the first steelbook that I ever purchased. Is that right? Let me see. Yep. This is the first one I ever purchased. And that is the Best Buy exclusive of Les Miserables. Um, just a plain blow up back. I actually kind of like this one, even though it is plain in the back. There's nothing there besides the uh, theatrical stuff. Um, it's glossy. I think it's the only one that I have that's glossy. Yeah. But it's got a nice shine to it. Um, I like the image in the front. I like the, um, just the way it looks. I think I like the blue color. Maybe it's sentimental too because it's the first one. Uh, but, uh, here it is. The Blu-ray and, uh, the DVD. And this is just the flyer on the back. Um, it came with. And this is, um, so my Django one doesn't have a uh, clip inside. I just keep that here. Hold on. I'll put that back in. Well, I guess you can see the background there a little bit. Not bad. That's Les Miserables. Uh, I like this movie, actually. Um, and I don't usually care for musicals, or I guess, technically, I don't really watch them. But, um, I thought this was uh, well acted and well performed. So good job on that. Next one is, I guess you got a glimpse of in that one. And I think this is probably my second steelbook. I don't know, am I going in order here? Maybe I'm just going in order. Well, whatever. Um, and that is the Django Unchained steelbook from Target. Oop, hear that. Disc fell out. Well, they both fell out. Well, that's lame. This is the um, DVD copy. That's the Blu-ray. And then here is the bonus disc. This was the, along with the Steelbook. Uh, each retailer, uh, Walmart, Best Buy, and Target, all had like a bonus disc. And this one is the um, Comic-Con. Stupid. I haven't watched this because, I mean, what? what is it? It's just like the unveiling? Who cares? But I just kind of put that on there like that. Um, and that's worked up until now, apparently. They don't frost in. But uh, I might just throw that disc away, honestly. This is the only one that I have, too, that doesn't really close very well. There's not really a snapping sound, but anyway. Django and Chain. That was a good movie, too. The next one is uh, The Chronicles of Riddick that I got from Walmart um, when they released their um, steelbook section and these this is one of the um, real heroes um, is that what it's called real heroes doesn't say um, you can see actually all of them there I only have a couple of them maybe there'll be more in the future but uh, there's the discs blu-ray and DVD and then as you can see the all the, the uh, hero ones don't have any art in the back so not going to bother with that. I haven't watched this yet since I got it. 
Um, I remember I saw this in the theater when it came out. Um, so I haven't seen the unrated cut. But I remember being disappointed. But uh, I'm sort of excited for the new rated cuts coming out in September. But uh, anyway. And this next one I saw in the theater like three times when I was 17. That's about the time it came out. And that's Pitch Black. And on retrospect, it's not really that good of a movie, but it was, a, as a 17-year-old, it was pretty cool. Uh, a cool science fiction movie. I don't think I've ever, I'd ever seen one at that time in the theater. And so I just liked it. I liked the story. I liked the, uh, well, I liked the story um, elements of it. The uh, dialogue was kind of shitty. But, um... There it is again. And the disc again. Anyway, um, uh, haven't watched this either, but I remember liking it. Like it enough to buy it, I guess. Uh, let's see, this next one is mo my, my uh, most recent acquisition. And that is the Watchmen Director's Cut Steelbook. Um, if I haven't mentioned it yet, I think all of these besides uh, Les Mis and Django were uh, $12 or whatever. at the back again. And this one also has some background art, which is cool. I think those are two Blu-rays, isn't it? Yeah. No DVD in this one, but uh, no one watches DVDs anyway. That was a good movie. I saw this in the theater with my wife back in 2009, I think. Something like that. It's a long movie, and it's a little bit convoluted, but it's a good, uh, a decent movie. I like the uh, graphic novel source material. Uh, let's see. This next one is the last of my um, real heroes uh, steelbooks, and that's Scarface. I have never seen this movie all the way through in one sitting. I've seen the beginning and the end numerous separate occasions. Um, and uh, I've yet to watch it from beginning to end. And uh, I'm not going to open it up because it's the exact same in in inside. But uh, So I haven't watched this either since I got it. I, that's a common occurrence, actually. I literally buy movies and be like, oh, this is great. I unpackage them, I look at them, and they go on the shelf. But uh, hopefully I'll be changing that soon. I'll start actually watching movies I get. Uh, let's see. Uh, this next one already has a bunch of dings on it, it looks like. But... Um, this is um, when I. It's a movie I had never seen before when I bought it. So I think of all the movies I got here, it's the only one that I hadn't seen before. Well, before I bought it, anyway. And that is Chinatown Steelbook. It's pretty plain besides the smoke. Um, actually, I, I don't like how small that is. Like on the shelf, it looks really small. But, you know, I mean, that's just me. And uh, I guess I'll just show you the interior. This one is blank, just the disc. Just a plain blue Paramount disc. It's gone to the point where when I look at the disc, I can tell exactly what studio put it out. Or if I look at the maybe the slip cover or something, I can tell what studio put it out. That's what, what happens when you're obsessed. And this is the back sleeve little thingy. Um, I am going to have a review of this on my channel within the next week or so. Because I really like this movie, and I would like to talk about it more. But, uh, yeah, Chinatown. And uh, I don't know if you can see any dings um, on the camera here. It's not really showing up, which is good, I guess. But there's, um, just out of all of them, this one has the most dings. Maybe because it's black. Um, yeah. And this is the last one. And one of the ones that actually kind of got me into getting them all anyway, when they released all these um, Warner Steel books. And that is Batman Begins. And I never owned this on Blu-ray. I have it on DVD somewhere. Um, but I just, I never got around to getting it on Blu-ray. And I like this. I'm glad I waited because I got this alternate cover art. I'll get this out here. That's the back slip again. Look at that. That's pretty neat. I think that was the original cover of the Best Buy Steelbook, I think. 
So yeah, I prefer the new one. I haven't watched this either, since I got it. Batman Begins is a good movie, though. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. That's all of my, uh, all of my steelbooks. I think I have eight of them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yep. Ta-da. So that is just eight out of the almost 500 Blu-rays that I have. So, sneak peek, I guess, before I get into the whole um, um, collection itself. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will be up, I'll be back on here later this week with more uh, uh, Blu-ray collection entries, I guess. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. See ya.